Today we're going to have a fun little show where we're going to be doing something that anybody, and I mean anybody can do on any little river, creek, lake, or whatever that holds channel cats. We're going out with Jeff Williams, our catfish guru, with Team Catfish and G3 Pro Team member, and uh, we're going to do a little cheese baiting, a little uh, sudden impact, maybe some secret seven, Dip bait, punch bait, whatever you want to call it, it, Jeff. That's what we're going to try to do today. We're catch. going to try to catch some channel cats on manufactured bait. And uh, the channel cats are the most widely disputed fish in the whole United States. And anybody can do this. There you go. Anybody. Sometimes you've got to be looking at your uh, side view and down view. But all we're going to need to do now is stop and try to fish some of this that's... Uh, um, submerged. Submerged. It's under the water. And uh, if you're watching your side view and your down view, the technology they have today will draw that stuff out for you just like that. And you can see what you're going to fish. Now, I'm going to do something a little different than a lot of guys do. They like to fish out of the uh, they like to fish out of the back of their boat, and I like to do that too when there's a lot of current. But today, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to back my boat around here and I'm going to fish out of the front of my boat because I'm going to drop both of my power poles. And those are going to go down and hit two different locations. And they're going to hit two different depths. You can see the power pole on the right has went down and it's a little bit shallower and the one on the left has a little bit more of an angle so it's got out here a little bit deeper. And this is going to hold our boat where we can cast that fiber bait right up into that that structure right there. And Scott's good at this. I've seen him catch a lot of channel cats on this before. He likes to fish with cheese bait. Mmm. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's breakfast of champions right there. Now what this is, is this is a cheese based catfish bait. And it just loaded with long stringy natural fibers if Eric can get a close up of that you can see those long fibers in there and how they they grab a hold of that treble hook when you pull it out so there is nothing fancy about this deal perfect get him he's there get him got him there we go come on bubba come on catfish come out of there Come on. Come on. Don't look at him run. He's running like a white bass now. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. That's right. Nice channel cat. You bet. Nice fat channel cat, Scott. You ain't kidding. Ooh wee <laughs> <laughs> You ain't a joking. Now, Scott always says if you don't like that, you're a hard person to please. And Coming out here in the springtime, just anchored up here on a nice, quiet little river. Yep. Watching that rod bend over. That's well, right. It doesn't get much better than that. That's right. And there you been see, here five minutes. See the old fiber bait hanging there out of the corner of his mouth. But we're going to start our rig with a uh, number six sinker slide. That slide, it slides up and down your line. And what that does, that allows you to take your sinkers off and on your main line that fast. Today we're fishing with three ounce sinkers, but if I wanted to fish with an eight ouncer or a half ouncer, I could just put that on there and uh, go to fishing and the slide is really slick. The catfish never feel that line moving through there when they pick up your bait. We're going down to a soft rubber sinker bumper. Now that's a lot better than a bead. It's very soft and it takes all the shock out of that slide when it comes down here and hits that swivel. That's a two up barrel swivel. Again, we've got monofilament line, and then we're going down to the business end here. Now this is a Team Catfish Sudden Impact Treble Hook. They come in little packages like this, and this is an extremely strong, very sharp treble hook. This isn't your standard, just cheap treble hook. There's one, Scott. Get him, get him, get him, get him. he's there. All right, that didn't take long either. Didn't take long. We just got our pos boat positioned up here just right, and 
Woo! Nice channel cap. Give me a little, just a little. There we, there we go. Got it. Just a little slack. See, it don't take long, guys. That's what I mean. If you've got a lot of brush and whatnot in the river that you're going to be fishing, they ain't, they ain't there in about 15, 20 minutes. Move to the oh. next one. There's another one right there. Oh, how about that? I'm going to get him out of that wood. Bingo. Oh. Woohoo! Nice channel. Nice channel. Okay. I got a nice channel. That's what I'm talking about right here. Yeah, there you go. Little double dip in action. That is fun. Yeah, that is fun. That is fun. There you go. Boy, I'll tell you, there you go. First two fish in that pile right there. You can't beat that. This is something that anybody can go out and do that enjoys catfishing or wants to get into catfishing. This is something that, you know, any of the rivers, and then the same thing with these little lakes and stuff. There's lakes all over the Midwest and the South that are just plumb full of these channel cats. Now tell them, Jeff, these channels don't get near as big as blue cats. Yeah, you know, here in Oklahoma and, and a lot of the lower 48, you don't see channel cats, especially in the South, get really big. This is a good representative of the average size channel cat here in Oklahoma. But most of the time, people are just tickled to death to yeah. come catch this catfish right here. I know I am. Man, when he finally decided he wanted it, it was boom. He hit it. Huh? He hit her hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we've set out here. Just imagine if we could be out here for, you know, a whole morning or a whole afternoon or whatever. We could have probably just filled the boat with these things, but we've been out here a whole couple of hours and uh, we've just had a ball. We've caught, I don't know, probably 15 to 20 in, in no time. No time. And uh, still, I mean, they're biting. We just now getting a little sunshine. It'd probably get a little better, but, but really we just, uh, we're about to run out of time. And uh, Jeff, just tell them once again that this is something that anybody can do. Yeah, it is. There's little creeks and streams all over the country. There's ponds, strip pits, tanks, lakes, community fishing lakes. Channel cats are everywhere. Channel cats are channel cats are channel cats. They're gonna eat Secret 7 and they're gonna eat Sudden Impact Fiber Bait. And there's just a whole lot of fun a person can have catching channel cats like this. Yeah. I love to come out here and do this. They don't have to be about great old big catfish for me to really, really enjoy my day. Yeah, well we've had a ball doing it and bringing it to you, you know, but uh, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to get her done. And so just remember, just uh, keep what you can eat, release the rest, and uh, we'll be out there somewhere next week right here on the G3 Sportsman. So thanks for watching. Well, Jeff, put it back in and we may just, uh, we may just try another set, what do you say? I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> put him in there. Oh, would you look at there. That's money. Look at that. He looks like me. Big gutted thing. Get back in there. Boy, ain't that a lot easier than pulling on a rope? You got one? The wind didn't stop blowing. I can't even hear him. It's so windy. <laughs>